Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a quick flip through like I've been doing for you guys um, of the Language Arts and Literature Level 1 course from The Good and the Beautiful, which my daughter in first grade will be using, and then the Level 3 Language Arts and Literature that my third grader will be using. Now before I open up these courses, I just want to remind you guys that the levels do not necessarily correspond with the grades. It just so happens that I've got a first grader in Level 1 and a third grader in Level 3. Um, but you definitely want to take the assessments on their website to figure out where your kids fall. And they do recommend that um, your if your child is kind of in between, that you go with the lower level and let them progress quickly before moving on to the next level. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you are interested and want to order, the links are always down in the description box. So this is not going to be an in-depth flip through of this entire book, but this is just going to give you an idea of what you get when you do order the language arts program. So starting over here, this is level one. You receive this course book, this level one reader right here. Um, two printed out mini books. So as you can see, I have not opened them, but these are basically going to be little books that you cut and staple for your child to read. And it, um, it of course, gives you those instructions there. Um, now, opening up the language arts literature course book. So on the first page, <clears throat> you're gonna see about this course over here. It shows you how many lessons in total there are. Um, and it basically tells you the principles behind the course, how to teach it. Um, when you turn the page here, um, it talks more about how to teach it day to day. So day to day, you're having the child read their level one reader, practice their spelling, practice their phonics cards, which I'll show you in a second, practice sight word ladders, um, and then obviously do their sheet. So the beginning has all of the instructions and one of the things um, that is really, really cool is the completed little checkbox up here. I love little features like that and I'm excited to be able to check those off. So these are those sight word ladders that they were talking about um, for you to be able to review with your kids. Um, so now we're going to, there's uh, this right here is poetry memorization. So that's a part of uh, the course. So lesson one, just to give you an idea, um, it's scripted here what you're supposed to say. Then you would ask your child about those things. It instructs you what to do. Um, and you check the boxes as you go. So then you're already on to lesson two. So one lesson is basically one page. But you can work through this as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. Um, and so those are some of the beginning lessons. Then I always like to give you guys kind of a middle of the road lesson so you can see how the course progresses. So uh, right here, lesson 50, learning those sounds, tells you what to do, dictation of the following words, and then you're done with that lesson. So this course uh, reader right here that is something they use every single day. They recommend that you read it through your child. Um, see, it says it right here, read twice. So once they've done lesson 24, the child should read five to eight pages of this reader out loud, and then they read it again by themselves. And my daughter is so excited to read this. It's so, so cute. Um, it starts off obviously a little more simple and easy, and then it progresses into what I would consider um, a chapter book. So this is the reader that you are utilizing for your child um, in this course. You can of course add more reading if you'd like to, but that is what comes with it. So that is the language arts program. It's all in one, all encompassing, phonics, reading, grammar, handwriting, um, creative writing, poetry, all in one. Now that also applies to these other levels. Um, so when you order, the level three um, set, you get the course book, two readers, and the course companion, which I will show you, and the phonics cards. So these phonics cards are going to be utilized by both of my kids. Some of the cards go with level three and some go with level one. So we got one pack of those. 
Um, so now moving into language arts course level three from the good and the beautiful. Like I said, you get these two readers and the, the idea is the same. So when you open this up, it gives you all of the lessons. It tells you everything your child's going to learn that year, which is really, really cool. Um, and then it gives you all the course information. It gives you um, how to teach the course each day. Um, it tells you how to use those readers. Um, in the course, let's see, let's go. I love, well, the page I just opened to shows you a beautiful painting. I love um, how art is woven into this curriculum. And again, you can see it's got those completed tabs at the top. So it tells you what to do. Then your child is going to um, do this exercise and the worksheets are in here. Reading practice, read the poems. And there's their worksheet there. And you check things off as you go. So that is a lesson, lesson 23, it starts again. Here is the answer key, so you're obviously going to separate that, but it goes into the sentence diagramming. And so you can really just move through this course as you'd like. Here's another um, one, a painting in here, and it shows you uh, lesson 62, what to do here. It's got maps included in it, coloring in the maps for geography. So I really, really love that it's all in one. Now these readers, you get volume one, and it's a chapter book here. And then you also get volume two, same thing. So poetry is included, stories, everything. And your course tells you exactly when to do that. Um, now the course companion uh, also has the word lists for um, sight words, checking off what they've remembered and all those things, the map key. Um, so this goes with your level three course. So these are all inclusive language arts programs. I will be not at, I will not be, I will be not, I will not be adding anything to these courses. This is what we are going to do. Vocabulary, um, you know, grammar, all those things, like I said, are woven in and it shows you here on the bottom, phonics, reading, spelling, writing, literature, grammar, and art appreciation. So I'm so, so excited about these. Um, I hope this gives you an idea of what a course contains. If you've got any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and stay tuned because I will be doing flip throughs of everything I received from The Good and the Beautiful. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon.